Watkins ointment. What, what was that used for? Go ahead. She would take it and melt it. She would get the earthworms. And this helped what? This helped your knees. This was for your bad knees, right? For your, for your bad knees. And put it in that stuff after they melt, and she would mix it. And mix it, and the worm, the earthworms would be cooking up in it. Father, and then father, she would take father, that father, and let it get cold. Father. And then whenever you need her, she would rub you down. Earthworm and all. With that, yeah, with all of that. You never thought about it because you were doing it. Suffering today with knee pain and back pain, all these things. Home remedies are out there, but you got to know what it is. So, so, so we we go in the backyard and get a couple of earthworms. <laughs> All right, Mark Crosley, let me hear what you got to say. Lord knows I'm glad I ate already. That walking liniment will set your soul on fire. Have you ever used that? No! Look, look, everybody out there, no! <laughs> Ooh, this has been a lesson today. Y'all don't understand. This ain't no makeup stuff. This is actually no, I believe you. Because, because I remember granddaddy used to tell us about this concoction that I probably the only grandchild that has never forgotten it. And it's called Sweet Spursonana, oh, yeah. Medicamenda, and Balsam Compivit. Remember? And don't ask me what it was, but he stood by that as a cure. My father thought turkey to kerosene was a ma- was a magic medicine. Anything that was bothering you, get some kerosene and some sugar. Oh, and you would eat it, right? Anything, you eat that. Now you said just a while about Watkins would set your soul on fire. All you had to do was eat that kerosene a lot of matches. And I bet you in a million years you was all caught on fire. My mama stood by that one and what she was talking about, the sand. Now she never used earthworms, but she would buy the sand. Sands. The walking liniment man would be uh, driving a car to come by the house uh-huh. with walking uh-huh. product. She buy a walking little bit. Yeah. Buy, that's the liquid. The sass, the lemon flavoring, yeah. lemon flavoring, and butter uh-huh. flavoring. Oh, uh, and she always had one. Uh, oh, the other thing was it called penny drink. What you call it? A penny drink. It's, it's like our Kool Aid. Oh, and it cost just a penny, but it yeah. was a liquid. Oh, okay. And it came in strawberry, orange, grape, oh, and root beer. All of them came on the, with the walking man. Wow. And when they come down the street on Wednesday, and Mama said, they, I hear the walking man, go stop the walking man. Oh. <laughs> That's right. And it becomes oh a quarter. It becomes a quarter. That was it. That's and it. now, now, did they take the penny Kool-Aid or and stuff and was it part of a, a, a no they it's just that he just sold all that stuff he sold all of that oh okay that gotcha mm-hmm. and you can't hardly find it now oh no uh, and no the, the bottles were like bit by soul and they cost a pen oh, and it cost oh, a God, penny it cost a pen oh, and we call it penny drink it cost a pen that ain't no, ain't nothing a penny now and, 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 and you get the bottle of um the vanilla flavor, the white vanilla flavor, because uh-huh. my grandmama wouldn't even make her cakes mm-hmm. unless she had white vanilla flavoring. Mm-hmm. And, a power, and I make my, all my power cakes, I got white vanilla flavoring. Mm-hmm. And I find the pure vanilla, and I go to the Cracker Barrel, because they sell Watkins products. They do? Oh, they yes, Barrel. they do. They Cracker Barrel sell. sell a bunch of, like, right. the old Barrel. time. Yes. Yes. yes, so... Make, and I buy my walking products up there. Uh, but I have not been able to find the liniment, the sass yeah. that she's talking about. It comes in a tin can. Yeah. The sass. Yes, I bet you they got that in Cracker Barrel next to the snake oil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>